afternoon it is 4 30 look at that temperature it's not really 103 here uh but it is over 90 the truck's been running for a few minutes it's hot uh just like yesterday this is a hot week uh got the small trailer again we're just gonna be running the small trailer for a while um it's just uh you know it's one of those things that uh it just doesn't make sense to uh, to be pulling the big trailer when you only have one mower right now. So I only have one mower and it's just a lot easier to keep uh, the small trailer. I do like um, the big trailer obviously having the brakes when you're stopping, for, especially like around here. It's not a lot of stop and go, but uh, you know, like we're doing, you know, 55 or so and then you'll hit a light. So you gotta stop from doing, you know, from, they're all like these county roads, county highways, that kind of thing. Um, and then you'll hit a light or somebody will turn and you gotta, or there's like a little shopping center right here. And then you gotta slam, not slam on the brakes, but get on the brakes a little quicker, you know? Uh, so having the brakes on the bigger trailer is, is definitely nicer. Cause, uh, you could going back and forth between the two, uh, you could definitely feel the difference that um, the smaller trailer is actually a little uh, longer to stop. So, um, you know, that's that. I'm exhausted today. Yeah, see, as we're moving, it went down to 93. That's a, that's more accurate. Um, going to uh, a bigger property today, but just doing today I this has been a, a rough start to my week uh, and then my Friday's kind of no good so uh, we're gonna have to make up some ground tomorrow and it's just it's gonna be just as hot but um, you gotta do what you gotta do I'm just I'm exhausted um, today I've got my uh, my larger property so last week I took Monday off and it was a blessing a little bit because of the weather last week, I would have lost, uh, I would have lost two days, and I actually, I probably would have been behind, I'm not normally behind, uh, you always find a way, right, uh, last week I took, um, I took Monday off from my, um, let's see, even just now, so just slowing down here, it's difficult, um, I lost my train of thought, Monday, I, uh, last Monday, I took off from my regular job, was able to crank out a decent amount of lawns Monday, which that means, you know, fast forward to this past Monday, which was yesterday, everybody's due. Well, you're not, a, you're not, you can't do everybody again, because I'm not taking off every Monday, so, so what do you do? Um, and Monday's my late day at work, so I, prior, what I did was I prioritized and I just did one lawn. And I did the one that my the new one to me that was uh, overgrown, and I just didn't want it to grow anymore. Especially, we got a lot of rain last week. I I wanted it to to just it is what it is, and uh, you know, me cut it Monday, and then today I have a larger property. Uh, it takes me it's about an hour of mowing. And then, um, and I, I'm on, I'm normally on at like an hour 15 to an hour 20, uh, an hour and a half if I stripe it in a direction that's, it's not a, it's, the front yard is a very, is very, very large and it's not a square. So, or a rectangle or a shape that's easy to, uh, it's kind of like, uh, think of it as like a pizza slice. It starts kind of narrow and expands out very long. So, uh, it, if you're not doing uh, either up and down, which is like presidential stripes, or slanted in the one direction, then the others are going to take time. And the reason why you, you can't go in the other direction, it's hard to explain without seeing the driveway. It's just uh, the yard is because then you got to cut across the driveway, which is fine. I've done, I do it, but. Um, there's, it's a very long driveway with a bunch of beautifully planted trees, but each tree has mulch rings and it's just, um, 
you end up, it ends up just taking a lot more extra time doing it that way. So, uh, anyway, needless to say, this week we're just cutting it one of the easier ways to cut it, uh, and we're just getting it over with. Um, tomorrow I got my uh, two that are next to each other, and then uh, I had done a video previously of uh, customers and one-time cuts, cut, one-time cuts for cust for previous clients, uh, and it looks like I'm getting another one of those, which actually kind of makes me, it's a bittersweet thing, uh, let's see, just right now, slowing down just makes it, like it, like it's very bad, like, I don't know, maybe the truck needs new brakes, it's, it's not good, um, it's not good at all, um, so, the, um, the, um, what was I saying? Truck taking longer to slow down. That's not what I was saying. Um, oh, the the woman who uh, I had who uh, house I was mowing last year. Who uh, she wasn't renewing this year because she's moving. Um, uh, but she asked if I could mow here and there. Uh, I was like, yeah, just give me a little notice in advance and whatever you need, I'll try and fit you in. So it's going to be late in the, it's always probably going to be late in the evening uh, as um, I'm just going to add you on to whenever I finish. Which, you know, cool, cool. Um, but I guess on Thursday, Thursday morning, she she wanted this done by Wednesday. Um, she's having... Um, She's having, uh, what do you call it? Realtors take pictures of uh, the house, I guess, to put up. So, um, here's my buddy. Um, so, you know, she asked if I could do the yard extra nice, but she, you know, and that's, I, I feel a little bad, but I, I really didn't want to offer this. I was like, absolutely. Uh, that was a tour one, bumpy, terrible whatever, I'll take the skag on it, we'll make it look nice, um, she wants it cut short, that's not happening though, because I'm not messing up that mower, um, it'll look nice, uh, at three and a half inches, she's not getting anything shorter than three and a half, uh, honestly, I should probably mow that at 375, um, especially after this heat, but that's the other thing, they want to trim super, super, you know, it was like two weeks ago I did that, and she's like, it grew so fast. I'm like, well, yeah, it is it is spring. We've been getting a lot of rain. You know, kind of what happens. I didn't say that to her, but, you know, just in my head, I was thinking that. Um, and um, fast forward, you know, so I was, you know, I was flattered that I'm, I guess, mowing this and making the, the lawn look good for the pictures. Um, but we'll see. Um, uh, you know, she has that whole other side that was slow. Like, you know, some of these properties I take on have these extreme slopes, and they have to either be like all um, trimmed by hand, which is just a royal pain, or you can get like a push mower on them. I wouldn't even do a bobcat. I wouldn't even do like a walk behind on them because, uh, you know, it's it, there's ruts here and there, and you're gonna be. Uh, fighting with a heavy walk behind. No, no. It, it's easier to just do a little light push mower. I love the ones that are not commercial grade because of how light they are. So, yeah, they're throwaway mowers. You want to throw them away, you beat the shit out of them, and then that's it. I've got one that's, I mean, I don't use it religiously, but I've got one that I just beat, 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 and, um, you know, I bought, like, uh, wheels for them because I've, like, broken the wheels and just, you know, all these kinds of things, it just keeps going, but, um, anyway, she's got some nasty, uh, she's got one nice side of the property, one nasty side, and, uh, you know, we kind of had a deal previously where the nasty side was small, and I was like, look, I'll do, um, I'll do, uh, whatever, I'll do, I forget what the numbers were, but let's just say I'll do 70 bucks, yeah, it's not big at all. I'll do 70 bucks to mow the main part, and I don't know, maybe it was another 20 or something to do the slopes with a push mower. 
wouldn't take me that long, but it would be a little bit. Um, and she's like, um, you know, you know, absolutely. And I kind of did it like I was there every week, but like one week I would do just the main lawn. Then the other week I would do both. Then one week back to the, just the main lawn. And then the fourth week I do both something like that. But she hasn't mentioned it. She's, she would like specifically mention or, or she would tell me like, Hey, uh, you know, the slope is, you know, is, is dried out. You don't have to do it for a month uh, or, you know, something like that. So she hasn't mentioned it. It's going to be just, we're in the shade and it's 92 degrees. Um, it's going to be warmer tomorrow. So, um, you know, I really don't want to, um, really, really don't want to, you know, as much, as bad as I feel, I really don't want to offer that. It's going to be at the end of the day, it's going to be miserable. I'm going to be drenched in sweat. The last thing you want to be doing is, um, push mowing, especially on a slope. So, um, I didn't even, I'm not going to mention it. I'm just going to, it's going to be late. I'm just going to tackle. I'm actually not even going to bring the push mower. I'm just going to bring the skag, uh, do what I could do, trim what I could trim. Um, by then the, uh, skag, uh, the trimmers will have, um, been done at multiple properties before hers. So whatever fuels, I'm not going to bring extra fuel. Whatever fuels left is left. And, uh, it is what it is. Um, and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we, we'll, you know, we'll go from there, but you know, she wanted the, the, she just wanted the lawn mode, nothing about the slope lawn mode and for it to look a little extra nice. So, um, you know, that's what, uh, that's what we're doing. But, uh, anywho, uh, with that being said, um, we're pulling up to the property. It's, um, about 4.45 Tuesday afternoon, uh, what is it, May, today's the 21st, 21st of May, um, everybody's mode over here, so, mode, mode, I don't know if these are coming up on camera, uh, probably not, how do these look, these are not mode recently. So, oh, his yard's long. We can see. Long, long, long. Here's what it is. All right, let's go get after it. See you on the other side, guys.